Today, I want to share a story with y'all. It's about my daddy and a time that he happened to him when he was growing up. He said he was about 12 years old, and his family had a farm in Georgiana, Alabama, which is a place where Hank Williams once lived. And anyway, it was harvesting time, and Daddy said that when harvesting time came around, he his whole family had to participate in the job of getting the crops in. And he said on this particular day, his whole family had gotten up early, and they had had their breakfast, and they all headed out to the to the fields to harvest the crops. And he said they'd been out there working for a little while, about half the morning. It was getting toward lunchtime, and they decided it was getting hot. They were going to go ahead and take their lunch break, and so they headed all. They all stopped and headed to the house and decided to get a bite to eat and some of that cool well water and cool off for a little while. So that's what they did. And then when it was time to head back out to the fields and finish up the day's work, well, everybody was ready to go except for Daddy's little brother, Little Rex. He was about three or four years old, and, well, he had fallen asleep. Well, Daddy said his mama looked at him and she said she just sure did not want to wake him up, take him back out to that hot field. He just looked like he was resting so good. So she decided she'd just let him sleep for another 30 minutes or so and she'd come back and check on him. Because you could see the house from the field, the field from the house, she said. If he did wake up, he'd just toddle on out there to where, where they were. So they headed on back out to the field. They'd been working there, working a little while, and directly, Daddy said, they heard this god-awful screaming, squealing and screaming like to high heaven. They looked toward the house, and there's a pig on top of the house just sitting up there, just screaming like it was dying. Well, at first they was in shock. They, they couldn't believe what they were seeing. Didn't even make no sense. But then they took off a running toward the house. And when they got closer to the house, close enough up to the house to look up on the roof, well, the screaming and hollering had stopped, and there wasn't no pig on the roof. There wasn't no pig in the yard. There wasn't no pig on the porch. There wasn't no pig nowhere. So they just stared at each other like, what the heck is going on? Did you see that? Did you see that? They were asking each other. It's like, just baffled. So then, now all of a sudden, they hear a squealing and a gasping coming from inside the house. So they take off a running inside the house. Well, there's little Rex on the floor with a straight back chair turned over and his head through the rungs. He had stuck his head right through the rungs of a straight back chair and it had gotten stuck and he couldn't get loose. And he could barely breathe. His face was already turning blue. Well, my granddaddy, somehow or another, managed to get him out of it and everybody breathed a sigh of relief especially Little Rex. But to this day, nobody knows how in the world that pig had gotten on top of the roof or where it went or anything about that, how that happened. But I think, and I think they probably did too, that it was divine intervention. I think God gave them that sign to tell them that there was something very wrong at the house and that they needed to get home and see about little Rex. Because if they hadn't, there's no telling what might have happened to that little, little baby. Who knows? He could have choked to death. But thank God they, they did pay attention and got that sign. So that was my daddy's story. 
and I hope you enjoy it. It's a true story. And if you did enjoy it, please leave a comment if you want to. And hit like and subscribe if you want to. And I do thank you very, very much for listening. Bye-bye.